oh, they're called the Avengers because they avenge. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that yeah, kind of is. What would you want to be called if you were a superhero? I don't know, like the Predator or something. Okay, you got like a cat thing going on? Uh, no, I'm just a pedophile. If I ever ran into you in public, I guarantee you, I, I've told my parents about us. I call my dad, I say, hey, guess who I ran into at the Safeway? That's right, Emily. You don't know, well, I'll, I'll tell you who it is. Someone from, from the internet, dad. That's right, I call my papa, I tell my aunt, I, I call my nana, she has dementia, she has no idea what's going on. She's like, who was even talking? I'm like, well, that's not the point. Emily was at the Safeway today. Hey. Um, so I love making videos. I do. You know, I can say something and people are just like, go queen, go. And I'm like, really? Thank you. And it can be the stupidest thing in the world. Um, but honestly, I'm not really having fun anymore. I'm just feeling drained. Um, I've been very anxious. You know, it, it's affecting me physically as well. Uh, and my sleep schedule. It's 4 a.m. as I speak making this video. And, uh, this account just makes me, makes my anxiety worse by the day. So, I'm gonna take a break. A nice elongated vacay from this account. So, yeah, okay. Just letting you know. Not that you're gonna worry where I am or anything. You follow other people. You'll be fine without me. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Tell me your name without actually telling me your name. I would not know how to handle romance in real life. I wouldn't, because all of the information that I know about that stuff is in just anime. Like, I I'd be sitting there and they'd be like, I love you. Sorry, wait. What are you doing? There's supposed to be like a breeze. One second. Can we come back to this later? No, I understand that. My Nana has dementia. I've had to feed her many times. But the bibs were advertised in the men's section for, for men to use while cooking and frying. Just wear an apron. Males, if you're watching this, it's not feminine to wear an apron. Okay? It's an apron. Here, here are some things, some designs you could wear. King of the grill. Dad. Uh, a barbecue rules in black. And then my personal favorite, the type two diabetes FNAF apron. If you are a man and you are cooking me a, a pork chop and you're not wearing this, I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not. <laughs> that was smooth. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah, you're like one of those, like, hot topic folks. Yeah, I got you. It's like, wear your heart on your sleeve type of thing. <laughs> yeah, I get it. It's like, uh, wake me up when September ends. <laughs> I'm glad you could make it. Thank you so much for coming. Now I've got some news for you. I've got a gun, and it's strapped to me. Basically, I'm strapped, and basically what I'm saying is if you come at a 10-foot radius, I'm gonna have no choice but to- Gerald, why did you kill my mother? Because I knew if I did, at least someone would want me or want to take me out. Jesus Christ, fine, we're going to Carabas. I, I was thinking the Olive Garden, but, and, you know, whatever. In second grade, we had a, a stuffed golden retriever that was considered our class pet, and we had to decide a name. I don't know how we came to this conclusion. But, but we named it Yu-Gi-Oh. It isn't. It isn't a real dog. It's just a funny male. Wow, this art is absolutely adorable. Isn't it great, guys? Yeah, it is nice. Uh, who, who drew it? Who's the artist? Oh, I don't know. Uh, if you find out, let me know. That's your job. Not ours. Yeah, well, I, I couldn't find who made it, so... Then don't post it. Well, I said credit to the artist in the caption. That's like when I ask you where you got your shirt and you tell me, oh, the store. Which store? There's a lot of stores, Emily. A lot of stores. 
Sure, the stainless steel fridge is favored among society more, but I heavily appreciate my white fridge. It's got class, it's got charm. Nothing that the stainless steel can match up to. What can you do that my white fridge can't? A lot of things, but that's not the point. Did you know that girls who are more intelligent are more likely to stay single? Then why am I single? Because I am the stupidest person I know. Your statement? <laughs> my GPA says otherwise. They had to make up whole new numbers because there was no number existing that could accurately measure how stupid I was. They were like, this is beyond us. This is off the charts. I can't believe this exists. Is she this stupid? Don't ever, ever overestimate me. I remember when I was younger and I'd be invited to a birthday party and if there was a code on the invitation, I knew that this birthday party was gonna be a blowout because if there's a code, that means that there's a gate and they live in a gated community and if they live a luxurious life on a daily basis, just imagine how extravagant this birthday party is gonna be for this small child. This isn't a birthday party. This is royals inviting commoners to take a tour of their castle. That's, that's what this is. Oh, I don't have to because I was. Yeah, I got invited. That's just too bad for you. I don't need to do drugs. I grew up watching H&R Puff and stuff, which in itself was the biggest acid trip experience of my Yo, just who woke up? Just... There's a word missing. Just... Just guess who wo guess who woke up is me. Hey, come look at this nutcracker I got. What do you mean? I'm right here. So, that's a nice gift. Yeah. Is my guy, you're a what? We we don't talk about it. You know those like 70s and 80s movies where the parents would go out for the night and they'd lend their son some pizza money and say, don't stay up too late while we're gone. I am currently living that life as we speak. I am but a teenage boy living out his pizza dreams in the 70s. Ah! Hey, this is why you take her swimming on the first date, am I right, boys? Man, you don't even look like you can swim. <laughs> hey, hey, shut up. You want to know where we're dropping, boys? It's not going to be by a body of water, that's for sure. Tell me you're into anime without actually telling me you're into anime. Aisha. 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 All right, I privated the video. It was only up for like two minutes, but I knew what was coming. Basically what I said was if Nick Wilde asked me if blue lives matter, I'd be like, yes, sir. Yes, they do. I'll go get a flag right now. But they don't. And Nick Wilde's not real. It's just a joke because he's a cop because I'm a simp, but I, I, blue lives don't matter. So don't, don't buy a blue lives matter flag, please. Spend your money on something else. Take out. I don't know. You know when ASMR audio is on YouTube, when the voice actor's voice gets raspy like this? I could do that. I could be a voice ASMR person. Like, point of view, I'm an airline woman trying to seduce you. Good evening, sir. How are you? Would you like anything to drink? We have Coke, Pepsi, or myself as I am quite the tall glass of water. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes! Animated series! Yes! He's coming back! He's coming back for an animated series. God answered my prayers. He listened to me. He said, Asia, I do love you. Here. Ah! He knows my blood type, my social security. We love each other so much. You will never have a chance. Don't use those 10 examples as a sense of security to your relationship. Humans are disgusting human beings, you know that? I'm sorry? You could get married to that person and have children with them. And that entire time, they are actually cheating on you with another person. How does that feel? That's not the case for everyone. It doesn't matter if that's the case for everyone. Someone has to go through it. 
and you think you won't. Oh, you think you're special? You think God loves you or something? Never trust anyone. Don't get married. Move to Paradise Valley and live in an apartment complex with four other widows. Know your place. Look for the Gummy Bear album in stores on November 13th with lots of music, videos, and extras. It's robe season. It's robe season. I got rid of my onesies a long time ago because that was way too close to me being a furry. I just felt like I was shifting and I, I couldn't anymore, so robe season. On election day in 2016, I attended dance wearing this sticker. It said, I'm terrified. And the only difference between four years ago and now is that I have bangs. Hey babe, guess what? <laughs> Ew! Ew! I've never said that word before, that is so disgusting. This is my Donald Trump impression. He's got one hand movement, it's just palms to the audience, palms to the audience. Sometimes shoulder, it looks like he's trying to bless everyone, like he's like a priest, a really bad priest. Sometimes it looks like he's measuring, what is he measuring? Like I I'll talk to an adult and they'll start talking about their life and they'll be like, oh yeah, me and my husband, and I'm like, your husband? When did, when did this happen? When did you get married? And then they're like, oh yeah, 25 years ago. 25 years ago, 25 years ago? Impossible, I got here 18 years ago. There is no way, I wasn't here to see that. So that couldn't happen. And they're like, oh yeah, I have a child as well. Okay, so you're just adding side characters to my RPG? This is my point of view, this is my story. You can't have a backstory if I'm not here first. Hey, all right. Hey, if you can settle for Biden, maybe you can settle for me too. I'm sorry. I'll leave. All right. Just found it's Disability Day. Yeah. Oh, heel click. Oh, woo! Thought I'd share a fun fact with you. Uh, so scoliosis usually stops progressing after you hit puberty because your growth plates are closed. Um, but then sometimes your scoliosis gets worse into adulthood, aka adult progression scoliosis. <laughs> and I got it, baby. So, fun fact about me, I wear a heel lift in my right shoe at all times because my hips are uneven and I am in incredible pain when I'm not wearing them on long walks. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Absolutely not. And I don't think I ever will. We will be going by a first name basis. What is this, the young and the restless? This is a visual reenactment every time I see a funny TikTok on my For You page. This is me every time. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Thanks for 2 million followers, folks. My god, I can't even imagine 30 people in a room. Try. What? No. Try imagining 30 people in a room. Do it. Okay. Okay. Now, how many of them are white? All of them. God damn it. I thought you were more progressive than this. God, there's not even an Asian person. What's wrong with me? Tonight, I'm preparing my husband at 425 degrees. And we're gonna have him with a side of coleslaw and a glass of wine. How do I explain to you in simple terms that this sound was trending with this filter and it's from Bunny Girl Senpai and you immediately think of my son and it's like, oh, it's kind of funny because like no one can see her. It's a pretty obvious joke. You think I'm bold enough to steal jokes and claim them as my own? In the position that I'm in with all these people following me? I'd have to be stupid. I don't commit crimes I know I'm not gonna get away with. Who do you think I am, Amy Schumer? You know, you'd think, right? But I found myself not actually finding that appealing at all. I'm not someone who is the, the desire for someone to wear cat ears. It's not, it doesn't hit the same. My type is Peter Parker Kinney's. I have seen that is a pattern. <laughs> Are you surprised? Are you, why is that so, uh, 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 why is that so mind-blowing 